important day that you feel is very important and will help you tremendously. And we're going to be there on a count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. What's going on on this day? Flying. Wow, very nice. Are you flying in a contraption or? No, um, something from my heart. My heart looks like it's bursting out light everywhere. And I'm wearing like a similar style of clothes, but they're different because I'm younger. And I feel like I'm radiating energy and it's spiraling and creating kind of like a sphere around me. And I'm, I'm kind of using that body of energy to travel. Very nice. And where are you traveling? On the planet there or? It's a, it's a grassy area. And let's get to all, all the way to where you're headed to. And you're going to be there. And you're there. So where were you, where were you headed? Home. Oh, very nice. And where is home? Right there. So when you were flying, you were possibly flying through uh, space or dimensionally or Yeah, so maybe through space? Um, no, dimensionally. Ah, uh, dimensionally. And where is home for you? I don't know. It's, there's a waterfall and everything seems very perfect and serene. Very nice. And what's going on on this day? Um, There's a bunch of I don't know, lights, little lights floating in the air and it's floating through the water. It's, I don't I think it's like a festival of awakening or something. And the lights, are they decorations or are they entities? Fairies. Ah, very nice. And if you look at yourself, are you the same person that you were when you were on the other planet with your husband, with the elephant nose? Look at your hands, look at your body. Are you the same or have you moved to another expression of yourself? That's okay. Now you said you were flying and you had your, uh, the energy was coming out of your heart, sort of propelling you yeah. and shooting out in all directions. Now you say those are fairies. How, what size are you compared to the ones that you're thinking are fairies? I'm much bigger than they are. You're much bigger than they are. And uh, once again, hold your hands in front of your face and just sort of look at your hands and describe them and your skin or whatever structure or form you have. And I have like really long and like graceful fingers, but I have a violet tinge to them, to my skin. And I have violet skin. Oh, what am I cool? I have violet skin. I look almost like a fawn, but my eyes are very green. And my face has like spots on them, but they're white. And there's like there's like a darker purple around my eyes and it's, it fades out to like a lighter purple. And I have like um, ram horns and purple hair. Awesome. What's your name? Do you know?
It's okay, you've just gotten there. Let's go ahead and explore. Now you say it seems like there's a huge celebration going on, huh? And so how many different type of entities or species are there this time? It seems like everything is full of life. Every, there's just all sorts of different kinds of beings just existing and happy. And Very nice and loud and clear. So how do you get around? Are you still floating in the air or are you literally walking? walking through the air. Oh, okay. And just go ahead now. I saw the description of your hands. What about your feet? What do they look like if you look down at them? They're webbed. Webbed toes like a duck? They, no, it's kind of like, they look like, not like, look like, Fat chicken feet almost with a little bit of webbing. Okay. So how many was that? What do they have? Three or four uh four phalanges, okay. Any nails on them? Yes. They have yeah, they have nails at the end. Kind of thick and I don't know, they don't look they're I mean they're not dirty, but they're not like polished or anything. Okay, very good. And are there any other entities around that look like you? Yes. I want you to go over to someone that looks like you. We're going to have a little communication with them this time. Okay. And I just want you to greet them in whatever way you would normally greet them. How they greet you? We hug and we fly, I don't know, fly around each other and embrace and it's playful. Ah, oh, very nice. How old do you think you are? I'm 80. That's not very old. Ah, oh, very good. 80. I didn't ask you how old you were in the last one. Do you remember? I don't. That's okay. So, who was this person that you greeted? What are you? Are you? Is there a gender, male or female, or how was it this time? I, I think I look female. But I, I don't know if there's gender or not. I want you to ask your friend that you just greeted. Um, they might sound a little strange, but what's the celebration for? for everybody, it's for the whole planet, we're, we're going to be shifting into a higher consciousness. Ah, very nice, very nice. Do you recognize anyone there, maybe from this life here on the earth? Does anyone's energy feel familiar? That's okay. So you're literally going through the ascension process and you say everyone is celebrating? Yes. And what made them celebrate all, what are, what's actually happened to signify that it's the ascension? How did you gather that? From your friend or? She said that and everything seems very happy and like, I don't know, elevated. Got 
Everything's kind of vibrating. Feels pretty good, huh? Yeah, everything is perfect. And I want you to go ahead and describe the atmosphere and maybe the sky and any structures. Just, I remember you said it was very beautiful and there was greenery, is that correct? The sky is a really deep indigo mixed with like orange and like a light purple. And it's on a ringed planet. Uh, can you see the ring? Yeah, yeah. So it's tilted and one of the rings is like facing up. Interesting. Do you know what planet it is that you're on? No, I don't. If not, ask your friend and just see what their response is. Pleiella. Pleiella. Oh, very nice. Pleiella. You know, I want you to go where there are some elders or some if you guys are ascending, I know there's someone on the planet that has a lot of information, someone who would be considered a sage or an elder or a council member, of uh, someone of importance or maybe even a religious leader. And I want you to be there in a count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. Where are you now? I'm at this altar. person almost looks like a sea creature, like their body, but they have multiple faces on their face. Oh my. Do you get a feeling that they know a lot of information, huh? Yes. I want you to approach them. Are, is it, are you able to approach them? Yes. It's a very strong but inviting energy. Oh, very good. And I want you to introduce yourself and tell them that you're bilocating from the earth. And could you ask some questions, please, to clarify your experience? They'll understand. Yeah, they agreed. Ah, oh, very good. Well, tell them that you're bilocating from the earth, from Gaia, and uh, you had a desire to know what was the process that was taking place there where you are. What is... Does that make sense? Okay, take your time. because he's not communicating with words. It's just this really warm feeling shooting out of my head and my chest. I'm feeling really hot. Is he giving you, or is he showing you any images in your head or anything? He's just giving me sensations. Ask him, is, or ask him, is he familiar with the earth? Yes. And ask him, what could he tell you about the earth? Please. It's waking up. It's like a seed that's ready to burst out of the soil. So he's familiar with the earth going through the ascension process then? Yes. And when you arrived there, you felt like that planet was going through the ascension process as, as well. Is it uh, tied in in any way to what's happening on the earth? There's a map 
darkness is being dispelled and everything is being illuminated. And how did you come to be on the earth uh, from that place? Is that where you came from before you were on the earth? Could he, uh, could he answer that question? What brings you to where you are there? Had you had an incarnation there before? So just to enjoy it. And as you're uh, communicating with this entity, which one of the faces is communicating with you? Just one of them or all of them? Direct meaning comes from the, the, like the main face, the front face, but different. I don't know. I can't explain it really. Understood. And I different just, nuances, I guess. Yes. Very good. And just ask while you have the opportunity, since you're there, okay. uh, is there any message that they could give the Earth to help them in this process? Uh, because I have a feeling that and it is very wise. He said to be like fire, just to burst forth energy, to release anything pent up, and that we suppress ourselves and that we just need to burst forth. And it's gonna be sick and ugly for a while because we're going to, the world is going to see its own darkness. It's gonna to cease to lie to itself. And that we each as individuals need to cease to lie. And we just, we're like pockets of pus that just need to burst open and to be healed in order. It's gonna be ugly, but then it'll be beautiful because we'll learn how to feel. We are already experiencing or becoming aware of the ugliness now. And uh, some people are more aware than others. Very good. And that particular celebration that's going on, did we already find out what was that for? Yes, because they are shifting to an even higher state of consciousness. Like I think they're currently that's okay. Fifth or fourth or something. And they're going to go even higher. And as they go higher, is the earth uh, moving into the fifth dimension then? Yes, it's going to bypass the fourth dimension and go into the fifth dimension. And that higher beings are, are shifting into even higher vibrations so that St like energetic stagnancy, stagnancy and all other so that this kind of thing doesn't happen again so that it just can't understood understood and how long how you say you're 80 years old and you're really young yeah. how old do the entities there how old do they live to be or until they decide to shift how long can they hang out in? Thousands of years. Well, he can. The person I'm talking to seems like he's, so he's thousands of years old. And yeah, he can live to be 5,000. Oh, very good. Very, very good. 
Well, I think you can live longer, but people just lose interest after you fell asleep. And then they shift into different uh, expressions of themselves in different dimensions. Yeah, they do it seamlessly. There's no death. Or no, I, I don't know, it's just people, they, yeah, they, I don't know, it's just it's seamless. I understood. It's very understood, even if you don't. It'll make sense for, I mean, it makes sense to me, and it'll make sense to a lot of people. So what is your purpose of being there now? Why are you there now? Why did you go there from where you were before? Because it was something significant that you were there for. Cell memory. I needed to be in my DNA so I can remember, so I can transport this information to hear wow. other places. Very, very good. Very, very good. And I want you to take a long, slow, deep breath. And as you exhale, feel the relaxation moving through your body and your vibration begins to rise even higher, even higher. And is there anything else that the entity that's there would like to share before we shift once again to another place? And we would be very grateful if there's anything at all. He's smiling at me, almost in a scolding way, like there's no need for me to feel the way I do, it's useless. I just need to just completely just give up of all my baggage and just and set fire to it. Very good. And I want you to ask Kitty, direct you into the direction where you could uh, connect with your guardians and guides so you can have a more one-on-one -on -one, uh, for some of the questions that you came to really delve into. Because I know he can see what's going on with you. Yes, he opened up a portal and told me to go through there. Very good. We want to just go ahead and look back once again at the beautiful planet. And I want you to remember everything that you've seen. I want you to thank them for the information that they've given you and you're very appreciative. And go ahead and go into the portal. And it's going to take you to a sacred place where you can communicate with your guides and your guardians. And go ahead and leave, and you're going to be there in a count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. Where are you now, Snow? I'm in a forest. It's very mossy and almost mystical looking. There's fireflies. Beautiful. Different mounds with lights coming out. Fairy fortresses. Very good. And there's someone that's coming to greet you. Who is this? I've seen him before. His name's Morlian. Morlian, nice and loud and clear. Morlian. Uh, Morlian. And go ahead and greet Morlian. How's it feel to be there with him again? It feels good. It feels human. I do very good. Don't worry, you'll be able to get right back there with no problem whatsoever. And I want you to take a long, slow, deep breath. Inhale. And temporarily, you're just going to disconnect from where you are, but you'll be back there in the count of Morlian. Okay? Shake it up. Cameron's going to come over and he's going to grab you by your hands and he's going to help you up and I'm going to come around and unlock. Should I close my eyes so you can close or? It's okay. He, yeah, he, yeah. You can walk right here. You'll be fine. Sorry. Thank you.
because he's going to go somewhere crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, that thing that she said that she left up was what she saw when I did it to her. More than anything, she said it's like a little uh, root elemental. It looks like a root or something. I think it was really fascinating because there was another person that did a session with me and there was a person with an elephant nose that was there in the whole nine yards. So that's the second elephant person that they saw that I've that you when, know. When I had my eyes closed, I could like when you're asking her questions, it's not every question, but sometimes I would see them and then she would say it. Like I saw a drone or heavy transit and she said it. That's what my nephew did. I could put him under so easy. I could count to 10 and he'd be under. And so he was there while his uh, stepson that was there. And he, and I said, go under with him. And he just closed his eye and boom, he was there. And uh, I remember they were arguing about this big tree that they saw. Thank you. Very good. How are you feeling? Good. Thank okay. you. So just go ahead and have a seat. Okay. And wrap yourself back up again. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'll do a really quick one that'll get you right back to where you were. Sorry. Don't be sorry. How do you feel? Good, thank you. How real is it? Really real. It's cool. Uh huh. You're like, cool. I'm gonna go like this. Okay. And just close your eyes and pull it back over your eyes. Okay. And take a long, slow, deep breath. Okay. And feel the relaxation moving through your body. Okay. Very good. 